Hey everyone, on this episode of Cook's Nook, we are interviewing Julie Farber with Covenant House, and you can learn all about the amazing work that she is doing with homeless youth in New York City. Let's check it out. Everybody, this is Laura Cook, and here with another interview series with Cook's Nook. And we are so in for a treat today because we have Julie Farber from Covenant House. Hi, Julie. Hi, Laura. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. It is so great to have you. Thank you for being here and for your time, especially during the busy holiday season. It's just, I know it's nuts right now. My pleasure. My pleasure. Well, I want to tell you about Julie because she has an incredible background. Julie Farber has dedicated her career to opening doors of opportunity for children, youth, and families with more than 25 years of experience working at the local and national levels in the nonprofit sector and in government. Before joining Covenant House New York in September of 2022, Julie spent the past seven years as the Deputy Commissioner of the New York City Administration for Children's Services, ACS, where she oversaw the foster care system, managing a $25 million annual budget and 300 staff at ACS. Julie is a graduate of Duke University, earned an MSW from Howard University in Washington, DC, and completed the Coro New York Mid-Career Fellowship Program. Here is Julie. Tell us a little bit more about Covenant House, what it does for people who may not be familiar with the work. Covenant House New York serves young people ages 16 to 24 who have unfortunately experienced homelessness. We provide shelter services. Uh, so 24 seven young people can you know, come to our door when they have nowhere else to sleep and we will bring them in. And the first thing we do is ask them, are you hungry? Are you tired? Do you need a shower? Um, do you need medical care? And just really respond to those immediate needs. And beyond that, um, we are working to stabilize and support young people, address their mental health needs, provide education and employment services, help move them into what we call transitional housing, and then ultimately permanent housing. Um, and just really, you know, support them through the trauma they've experienced, and then, you know, hopefully to come out on the other side. What do you love most about working at Covenant House now? So it, it's funny that you use the word love um, because Covenant House, a, a deeply held part of the mission and the work is based on providing young people with unconditional love, support, and respect is such a critical piece of the work is you know, it's, it's one thing to provide, obviously, shelter and to provide concrete services. All of that is delivered in an environment that is showing just unconditional love and respect for young people and really supporting young people to be in the driver's seat. What do most people not know about your organization that you would like them to know? Some people who do know about Covenant House think of us as a homeless shelter. And certainly we, we do provide shelter, um, but then in addition, we have all of the programs that I just mentioned to you, mental health services. We have a health clinic on site uh, at our main shelter at 41st Street that provides full medical care, prevention services, and so forth. Uh, as I mentioned, we're providing education and employment services. We have partnerships with big companies like Delta Airlines and, and small companies and you know all across the, the, the employment sector as we are working on helping young people get trained and then actually move them into jobs. And then in addition, to the shelter services that we provide, um, we also provide transitional living and permanent housing programs. So we're really moving young people, you know, who might show up in a shelter in the middle of the night one night, but we're ultimately getting them all the services that they need and then moving them on a path to permanent housing and then ultimately, um, you know, independence. What's the most ex memorable experience that you've had so far? Oh my goodness, there's so many, but um, <laughs> well, th th there's one that I can name. Unfortunately, young people who are homeless can become 
victims of um, sex traffickers, which is just, you know, absolutely horrible. We have specialized services for young people who have become victims of trafficking. There's a young woman who had come to us some time ago and she had been a victim of trafficking and she received mental health services and a whole range of supports from us, ended up, you know, moving from our shelter to a transitional living program. And recently I had the pleasure of being uh, with her when we had a visit from a New York City council member. And she and that council member really connected. And, you know, she was sharing her experience having been trafficked and her experience getting services from Covenant House um, with the council member. That ended up leading to our young person getting a job in the council member's office. And her, her career is like off and running. It sounds trite, um, but the work is life-changing. It, it actually is life-changing. There's some exciting things happening that I've learned about. You have some new facilities. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Covenant House moved into this building a little over a year ago, um, and it is a brand new state-of-the-art 12-story building um, that's on 41st Street um, between Dyer and 10th Avenue. Mm -hmm. It's won, you know, awards for its architecture and, you know, has beautiful light, which I think you can see here. Most importantly, the space was designed, uh, with young people, young people, you know, got to participate in focus groups, um, you know, as the plans were being developed for this incredible space. And it really is designed to, uh, it's bright, it's colorful, there's light, and it is the kind of space that sends the message to young people that they matter. Can you share with us any exciting initiatives that are happening right now? One of the incredible things about Covenant House as an organization um, is that we turn on a dime when there are new needs to be met. And so a great example of that is, obviously there's been a huge influx uh, into New York City of um, migrants coming from uh, Central America and South America. So Covenant House uh, turned on a dime to serve young people who were arriving here alone and with no one else to support them. And so over the last number of months, we've served about 70 migrant youth. Um, and currently on any given day, uh, we have about 30 of our 120 beds here at this shelter on 41st Street are filled with migrant youth. They have come, uh, you know, escaping persecution in their own countries, escaping poverty, escaping trafficking, escaping violence, um, escaping persecution for being LGBTQ. We have been um, doing everything we possibly can to serve these young people. And that's sort of an example of how Covenant House turns on a dime, um, you know, in order to meet the needs that is literally walking through our doors. Talk to me about how people can get involved with Covenant House and the work that you're doing, because that's um, the big thing here. Yeah, well, thank you so much for asking. Um, and the quick answer is there are huge opportunities to get involved and all, you know, all different kinds of ways. So we have volunteer opportunities for individuals. We have volunteer opportunities for corporations or churches or, you know, um, you know, any sort of organizations that that want to get involved. And then, of course, the other way um, that's, you know, critically important for us um, is uh, in terms of donations, um, whether, um, you know, donating um, funding or donating in kind. Um, and all of the information about ways to donate as well as ways to volunteer uh, is on our website. Thank you so much for your time. It's My an pleasure. incredible organization. Please check out the website. I have the information right below. Donate to Covenant House, especially as you're looking at year-end giving. They do so many amazing things for the community. And thank you, Julie, for your time. It's lovely to hear your story as well. Thank and we you. wish you an amazing 2023 as you're going through. Thank you so much, Laura, and Happy New Year. And I, and I really liked being in Cook's Nook. This was great. Yes, come back anytime. <laughs> thank you awesome. so much. Stay tuned for next episode. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching this episode of Cook's Nook. 
Learn more about how you can get involved with Covenant House on their website. And please reach out to us if you have any questions about real estate. See you next time.